As you can see, my legs are bionic. In 1982, both of my legs were amputated due to tissue damage from frostbite incurred during a mountain climbing accident. At that time, I didn't view my body as broken. I reasoned that a human being can never be broken. I began by developing specialized limbs that allowed me to return to the vertical world of rock and ice climbing. Through technological innovation, I returned to my sport stronger and better. Technology had eliminated my disability and allowed me a new climbing prowess. The bionic limbs that I'm wearing are called biomes. Uh, they've been fitted to nearly a thousand patients, 400 of which have been uh, U.S. wounded soldiers. We use imaging tools such as MRI to look inside my body to figure out the geometries and locations of various tissues. Here's a 14 actuator circle that goes around the biological limb. The actuators come in, find the surface of the limb, measure its unloaded shape, and then they push on the tissues to measure tissue compliances at each anatomical point. Across my residual limb are electrodes that measure the electrical pulse of my muscles. That's communicated to the bionic limb. So when I think about moving my phantom limb, the robot tracks those movement desires. This video shows Lisa Millette shortly after being fitted with two bionic limbs. Indeed, bionics is making a profound difference in people's oh lives. Oh my God, I can't believe it! <laughs> it's just like I've got a record, a real leg! Now don't start running. Now turn around and do the same thing walking up. Walk up, get on your heel to toe like you would normally just walk on level ground. Try to walk right up the hill. Oh my God. Is it pushing you up? Yes, it's, I'm not even... I can't even describe it. It's pushing you right up. Basic levels of physiological function should be a part of our human rights. As a society, we can achieve these human rights if we accept the proposition a person can never be broken. Our built environment, our technologies, are broken and disabled. Indeed, through fundamental advances in bionics in this century, we will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience.